I'm still here in Canada's east coast in the beautiful province of Prince Edward Island. Ever since I started fly fishing three years ago, it's been a dream of mine to fly fish for trout in clear water rivers and small streams, the kinds of places you see and read about in those fly fishing magazines. But in southern Manitoba where I'm from, there are no native brook trout. And with the exception of a few rivers in the subarctic region of northeastern Manitoba, opportunities to fly fish for brook trout are pretty limited to just a few stocked still water lakes and ponds. So today, with the help of a couple new friends I met here in PEI, I'm headed out to fly fish a small stream in hopes of landing on some big brookies. All right, guys, this is crazy. There's like, you can see that the entire stream here is packed full of trout. So we know where the fish is. Now it's just uh, getting them to bite, seeing what uh, what kind of what kind of fly that they're going to bite on here. So yeah, you can see them swimming all over here, man. Holy moly, those are all brookies right there. Oh man, this is a small stream like this with this much trout, dude. Ready to get into them? <laughs> yeah, let's ah. go. It's like fishing, shooting fish in a barrel. Pretty much. <laughs> the issue isn't if there's fish there, it's just getting them to bite. That's that's the ticket now. See, I've never done this type of fishing before, where you can see that there's so many there. It's not as easy as I thought to get them to bite. <laughs> no, not at all, eh? Seeing them here is one thing. <laughs> I've seen your rod going close to that. Yeah. I thought it was on mine. It could be. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Here's the one. I just see my indicators are starting through the water as they went up. Nice. Ben, he has every fly in his mouth. Your white one's in his mouth, one of mine's in his mouth. He ate both? There's Everything's in his mouth. There's three flies in his mouth. No, he ate, he ate yours, Ben. He ate mine. Yep, he ate yours. <laughs> Beauty. All right, beautiful fish. Ooh, he took off fast. He took off quick. <laughs> nice fish. You're on. Nice. Look at him run. Eey. Let's get in there and net him. <laughs> yeah. Nice hook up. That's a good one. All right, come here, buddy. Yeah. Oh, look at that big boy. <laughs> look at that beauty. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Look at that. 
Will just got hooked up on this guy right here. Gonna so we'll come back here a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah. That's what she came to keep the eye for. Oh, they fight. Such, such a little they fight. Finally got on him. I wonder which one he bit on here. I want to say the pheasant tail. The you bee? You had uh, your, one of your copper johns as the bee fly. You bit on the copper john. Come on, buddy. He's not done. Come on. Yeah. Oh, Boom. There you there go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! What a beauty. Right on the top of the nose. Look at this one, guys. What an absolute, what an absolute beauty of a fish that is. Look at that brookie. He's probably like, what, 18 inches? Oh, at least, yep, or so. Probably three and a half, four pounds. Yeah. Get a release video here. He bought himself tired. That was nice. Finally, I got yep. me on a good brookie. Wow. It just takes time from the this, boy. This is, man, I'm not, I'm telling you right now, this is like my dream fly fishing right here. Like on a small stream like yep. this. Fish just like a that. beautiful little brook. Catching brook trouts on a beautiful brook like this, man. Whew. What a dream, buddy. Thanks for taking me out here, man. Let's go, let's get on some more. So that fish right there guys that was such a subtle take like i did not even feel that I, I i was gonna pick my uh pick my rod up and recast and all of a sudden it was i picked it up and boom he was on but that was such a subtle take i don't know how how many i might have missed this morning man i wasn't expecting it to be that subtle so i'm gonna throw an indicator on mine see how that goes better i think we kind of overfished these guys here yeah they're tired like, and stressed out highly stressed out we'll get a move on yeah. Well, at least you got another one though. Right. He's a big pheasant tail. What did he bite on? That big pheasant tail. Yeah. It's probably, uh huh. Three and a half, almost four pounds, probably. Get it back in the water. Off the boat. Off the boat. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty stressed out here. We're gonna head downstream and hit up another hole and see if we can catch some even better ones in that hole. Stay tuned out it bubbles up from the ground and runs out real cold water that's why this stream's really good for trout because the water's damn cold so it's a spring fed spring fed uh, stream yep there's a lot of rainbows up there yeah the further you go up the more rainbows you get so that's why yeah. i sort of stick down here and you can kind of get rainbows over here as well oh yeah i got i got four yesterday around so over here you guys got more brookies and rainbows Okay. Yeah, on this end on the island, yes. If you go down towards Monocue Way, 
that's you're just getting into six seven pound rainbows and then you go down to surrey they're getting like 10 12 13 14 pound rainbows on the fly in ponds yeah it's pretty crazy but there nothing on a brook trout like this you can't beat catching a 16 inch brook trout or bigger like there's nothing like working a small stream with a fire rod eh nope not at all it's it's the best and then when you, you get one on you got to fight them and keep them out of the trees and everything it's the best yeah. it is awesome All right, so they're swimming back and forth along here. You can see them from up on the bank, but they're all hiding underneath the shadows here, underneath the trees. Come on, somebody bite it. There's some big ones in there too. Yep, there we go. Yes, I'm on. Oh, oh, there he's running. Yeah, holy. Yeah, baby. Got the hook set. Got this thing's hooked set on video earlier too. Nice. Holy, holy. Oh, that's another nice one. Yeah. He made a run for it over there and then jumped. Woo, guys, there is nothing like fly fishing for brookies on a small stream like this, man. Let me tell you. Yeah. Man, do they fight, hey? Do they ever? Yeah, buddy. Well, that's a fat one. Oh, that's a good one. Come on, come in here. Come on. Yep. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yes, sir. Water there. Getting a good view there? Oh, yeah. All right. There he is. That's a four pound fish. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. All right, well, we're gonna move back to that first spot again and then give that spot one last shot. And then, uh, ooh, right, right, right here. man, right there, right where I was fishing <laughs> earlier, too. They love to just jump after there. you leave a spot, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right, we're going to head back to the first spot and uh, give that one one last shot. And then uh, then probably got to go because uh, he's got, Will's got something to do this afternoon. And I uh, should probably get back home for lunchtime, too. So we'll get back to that first spot. See you guys in a bit. Yep. Yes. Oh, no, he's still on, yep. Yep. Ah. Woo! Good, good. Give him a nice release over here. Woo! I think that's uh, that might be the last one there for me, unless I get another one in the next couple of casts here. Because we got to go pretty soon, but that would be a great way to end the day. Brookie number three for me. That's probably the smallest one out of the three that I got. Are you on? All right, let's see this bad boy. Good. Good. Oh, look at that. Right at the top of the head. Yeah. Good job, man. Another nice fish just before we end the day. And we'll let this guy go.
I had such a great time out here in PEI. Um, I actually met those guys uh, three, four days ago, and they took me out uh, mackerel fishing as well. We tried to fish for striped bass too, but we didn't get any striped bass, but we got a couple mackerels. But uh, yeah, and then they took me out again, uh, trout fishing in their, in their little stream here today. Man, the people out here are just super, super friendly. Like we've been met with nothing but kindness ever since we got on Prince Edward Island. I had a great day fishing today. Um, never caught that many brook trout in my life. And that four pounder brook trout like that guy was easily, easily four pounds. So I can now say I've caught a four pound brookie. Plus I caught a few more fish out there as well. And uh, yeah, I am very happy with the results of today's fishing trip out here. There's seriously nothing like fly fishing small streams and then just work in a small stream like this guys like it is just unreal that is how i've been imagining fly fishing to be ever since i started it a couple of years back and uh well you know we don't really have these type of opportunities in the winnipeg area so to be out here right now on the east coast and be able to fish these kind of waters dream come true plus we got on a bunch of fish today so that is going to do her for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a thumbs up on the video there uh, check out my other videos as well there's recommended videos and playlists in the description below check those out and if you like my content in general i would highly appreciate it if you do consider hitting that subscribe button also that's going to do it for today's video guys i will see you guys in the next one peace